Hello, my friends at SeemsGoodMagic.com. This is Travis Simulant Sowers, and we are jumping in to a Shadows Over Innistrad 8-4 draft. And what have we here? We've got a little more room for our preview card. That's what we have for starters. There's not a, like, archetype defining card here. There's various cards that are good in their decks. I think this one pretty much comes down to me for would I rather have a Pious Evangel or a Silver Strike? Pious Evangel kind of goes in every deck. Silver Strike's only real knock against it is that it doesn't want to be in an aggressive deck. But there's only so many cards that say destroy target creature on them. Yeah, it has some other words there. Attacking you gain three life. But I think I feel pretty good starting a draft with a Silver Strike. <clears throat> It's not powerful enough that we're going to force white or anything like that. And we are passing some good white cards, which is beneficial and bad. Like, if this pack comes back and they're all gone, well, probably shouldn't be in white. But I, I could see getting the Geist back or maybe the Vessel. Who knows, maybe we won't end up blue-red this time. Then again, maybe, maybe, maybe we will. So I think Lightning Axe is far and away the best card in this pack. Not really even competing with anything at all. Uh, second best, maybe Stitched Mangler. Like, oddly enough, if you take the Lightning Axe and wield the Pyrehound, you might be doing a thing. But I'm certainly going to take the Lightning Axe here, and we'll, we'll see where we go from here. Uh, you know, we could be Boros Aggro... Well, here's where I kind of have to make a decision, isn't it? Yep. Well, not really. Like, I, I, I'm going to take the Reckless Scholar. That doesn't mean that we're red-blue. I like Rabbit Bite. Seeing it here with the Hinterland Logger could mean that we should be green-blue, to be fair. Because, like, these first two packs, you can't tell any signals from that. <clears throat> but I think generally speaking I'm happier with Scholar it goes with either of these two picks and we can see if either of them are open and if not we can just move into green blue and be fine like you're not supposed to know what colors you're drafting four picks into a, a draft like you just you shouldn't be able to tell that <clears throat> so we've got some options here there is a Pyrehound if I want to go for the spells deck again uh, Malevolent Whispers can be quite nice if you have some Madness Outlets. It, it is asking you to jump through a lot of hoops to get something going. Scarecrow's a relatively safe pick this early in. It means that we could just play all of these cards. Have Delirium, delirium Enabilization, as well as... Um, you can always crack it for lands and pitch those to the Scholar. I feel like it's a relatively safe pick, but the, the format defining archetype card is the, I guess, the Pyrehound. I guess you could be safe and take the Arsonist, too. I'm going to grab the Pyrehound. I don't see any green cards. I think this moves us potentially into a, a, a spells deck. Well, we'll see. Dance with Devils looks pretty good. I like Inner Struggle a lot, too. But, uh... Yeah, that's, that's just a good card. And a Stitched Mangler. Well, I, I don't mean to constantly do blue-red drafts, but if, if that's what the gods are going to present before me, then that is what I will take. Reaper of uh, Flight Moonsilver is not a bad card. It's a bit overcosted if you're not going to enable Delirium. Uh, it's still okay there, and if you can get Delirium going, it's amazing. But I, I think I'm still supposed to take the Mangler over the, the Scrutiny. Like, it'd be neat if we're the blue-red spells deck, but we might just be a blue-red tempo deck with Fevered Visions. Okay. I guess maybe the people in the draft have seen my videos, and they're like, this guy just drafts red-blue. Just passing the stuff, man. Yep. Don't mind if I do. So that was our original pack, the Geist Wield. I think it's relatively unlikely we're actually going to want the Lamplighter, but I'll still take it here. I like Gone Missing and would probably play it, but we, we've got to get some lower casting cost stuff in here, and things to start triggering the Pyrehound. 
So we've, we've got a couple of conflicting issues here. Pyrehound wants spells, which we've got some of. A uh, dual shot I'll take. It may or may not get main decked. Hello, Dutch. Like, sleep paralysis and feathered visions don't really interact well with the Pyrehound. Tormenting voice does. That's a good wheel. I think we saw another Pyrehound that didn't wheel, if I'm remembering correctly. <clears throat> we'll see where that goes. Yes, we got it. Blue's open. I figured that one out. All right. That's not a bad first pack. Again, I, <laughs> I really do draft other color combinations uh, on stream. I think we've drafted every color combination at some point, but I, I guess it's Blue-Red Mondays with Travis. All right, we've got Falconrath Ginger, Gatstaff Arsonists. I think if I can pick up a catalog, just the wind is just good. We've already got the Scholar to go with it. We've already got the Tormenting Voice to go with it. I probably want one of these, but we saw like 500 last pack. We should get another one. I don't love second picking just the wind because bounce spells can be a lot of air. Um, however, if you're able to trigger the madness on them, you're probably in good shape. Dutch, what do you want? You've got cat food, man. You don't need more. You've got plenty. Hush. Also don't think dual shot's likely to be main, but we'll see. Dutch disagrees, but what does he know? He's a cat. Alright, next pack is up, and it it's difficult to tell if red is open. No, I, it's it's second pick. Like, I can't say that I'm a genius and red is open. However, we're going to take Fiery Temper and be pretty happy about it. Uh, there's a Bloodseeker that I think we would like, a Vampire that I think we could like. We might even find room for a Manic Scribe as a kill condition. And Breakneck Rider's just a good card. Uh, but Fiery Temper does things and stuff. All right, so here we have to make a little bit of a decision, which is, are we going to be an aggressive deck or are we going to be a defensive deck? Because the two cards for us are essentially the Duelist, which is going to rely on us having creatures to attack with, which I think seems relatively likely here. Um, we've got the Mangler. We can pick up some OK Flyers, like the 2-1 Prowess guys go pretty well in this deck, and this guy can get you through a Spider. The, the other option is to take the Silent Observer because it just blocks the entire planet. Like, this guy's fine in a deck with a couple removal spells and some tricks. And of the four drops, I think right now I'd rather lean aggressively. Plus, typically you can get Silent Observers much later. It's interesting that our colors appear to be drying up a little bit. So, the pick now is Broken Concentration, which combos with our scholar to an extent I still don't know that I love it I can just take a storm rider spirit and kill people with that I probably should just do that I like the first storm rider spirit a lot yeah I think we're moving more towards a creature based hit you in the face deck and restock some stuff so I'll take the good old arsonists here None of these cards do much. There is Thraben Inspector. I actually played a standard deck <laughs> on stream based around pieces of the puzzle, and it was surprisingly good. I think with Voice and Scholar, I'm one card away from wanting to play this, and Lightning Axe. You know what? That's three. That's enough for me. I can find something to put that on. Huh. Weird. Seemed like blue was closed here. The, the only card here that we could play is the Wicker Witch. I, I kind of doubt we're going to want it, but sure. And remember how I said we weren't going to see any Duelists late? Because I'm dumb and don't know how cards work. <clears throat> I've already got a dual shot. Probably don't want to. Not very likely to splash or care about having lands in my graveyard. I'll, I'll take a Corpse Trawler. It's two creatures for the price of one, and it'll work. Now, here's an interesting one. If we don't care about Delirium, 
then Manic Scribe is kind of pointless and worthless. And we'd be better served just getting a land. That said, we're, we're going to be able to get Creatures Instant Sorceries. I'm going to take the Scribe. I don't know that it goes in, but I, I may want access to that as a way to kill somebody. I think here I'm probably more scared of the Inspiring Captain than any of these other cards. Same with the Strength of Arms. It's looking like blue got cut this pack, which I've, I don't think I've ever actually seen in a Shadows Draft. It seems like blue is often quite open. And apparently it pairs very well with red. Yeah, sure. I Actually, Mirthless, Merciless, Merciless Resolve is worth mentioning, too. Is I, I think people play that main deck too often, and they shouldn't. But I think you should have it in the sideboard of your black decks and actively go after it. For when you play against a blue-white deck that has two sleep paralysis and a bound by Moonsilver, it's just good to side it in and basically, you know, have a divination at that point. you got to wait for it, and you got to work for it. But it gets you an instant in the graveyard. It gets you this gone, like nullifies one of their cards. It's just good. It's a good play. Ugh. I don't often hate draft. You know, I'm probably not going to here either. But what do I even want here? So the, the question is, what would I take over a Dusk Watch recruiter? Like, we're not green. We're not anywhere near being able to splash it. We're not going to morph into a green-red deck. Like, that's just that's not happening. We're firmly established. I think I probably want an Ember Eye Wolf in this deck. I shouldn't have to first pick one. Like, I should see one later. But I think until your deck is absolutely finished, there's really you're not really well served to hate draft. Like for this to matter, I'm I'm gonna take the Ember Eye Wolf here. For for this to be a bad call, I have to play against the person that has this, and that's not a guaranteed thing, and then they have to draw it, and they have to win the game because they had that in their deck, and I had an Ember Eye Wolf. Huh? <laughs> There's uh, premier cards for all of the colors that we're not, uh, which is fine. We'll take a Stitch Mangler. It gets the job done. All right, here we're drying up a little bit. We've got a Magmatic Chasm, but our deck isn't super creature-based. So I'm kind of wondering, I mean, it, it seemed like we were good with the red stuff, but maybe I was wrong. If we've got to have just a bad deck to try to scrape by with, I don't mind it being full of Stormrider Spirits. Normally I would slam Reduce to Ashes, and I may still do it. It's okay removal. It's not as good as the 500 dead weights. If we were going all spells all the time, I'd probably take the Nagging Thoughts, but I, I, I guess we can just kind of play the deck that I always play on SeemsGoodMagic.com. Blah. Blah. Sanguinary Mage should be okay in this deck. The Drown Yard Explorers are probably good too, but I've got um, a preponderance of four drops. So let, let's just take a Sanguinary Mage and be pretty happy about it. I've got enough of these. Uh, we could probably play a Deny Existence and be alright. I don't love counter spells. In fact, I kind of actively dislike them. So I'm not going to put it right in the main deck. In draft, I'll play them in sealed. You guys have seen that. But if I have to play something like that, I can. Broken Concentration might be better. Insolent Neonate does give us another Madness Outlet. Rah! Which I think we might want. Oh, that's Alex asking me <laughs> if I'm here.
which am I more likely to want? This or the Insolent Neonate? I think I actually want the Neonate here. It goes with Temper. No, no, I don't. It's close. But, like, if I'm looking for a last playable, I'll play a Counterspell and one that has some minor combo. I'm still hoping we get a Catalog. I realize I passed one earlier. That's okay. Uh, none of this is actually playable. E even with what we're doing, this is not playable. So I'm just going to hack a good card. And, and we've got enough here. Uh, that we can bring that in if we want to. Let's grab a choked estuary. Let's be sad about that. And I guess take an Ember Eye Wolf as our last card. They at least give us mana sinks. I might want that in some matchups as well. I would say all things considered, this is not a bad blue-red spells deck. I have to go back and look at the other drafts that I've done and see what is the best <laughs> of the three blue-red decks in a row. I, I didn't mean to draft it, guys and gals. But I'm not unhappy with how it turned out. Also, I've made it to the finals with all of these decks. So uh, there's a good pedigree here. Nagging Thoughts is fine. I don't think we're actually going to want it, but... Uh, I'm going to take the Vessel here, too. I I don't like Trail of Evidence. Somebody said in the, the comments earlier, why didn't I take Trail of Evidence when I was building the Blue-Red Spells deck? And that's because I wanted to win. Uh, Trail of Evidence is just, in my opinion, too slow for this kind of deck. It, it is not the build-around enchantment I want. Um, that's not to say you can't take it and have some fun with it if that's your thing. It's just not mine. All right, let's get this bad boy built. I, I think we're just going to do this. I don't think we have a realistic expectation of hitting Delirium. But we could bring in a package if we feel like we don't have any other way to win of something like this. These cards to enable the Scribe and the Scribe there. Maybe not the Vessel. The Vessel's pretty bad. But these cards potentially to enable the Scribe because that would get us an artifact and this can get us a land. That's, that's kind of risky, but it can. You can also dis... I mean, you can discard lands to the Scholar. You can discard lands to Tormenting Voice. So maybe it's easier than I think. Like, Creature's going to be in there. We've got tons of instants. Do I have... How many Sorcerers do I have? One. Two. Yeah, maybe I am just going to have Delirium on for free. But I, I still think I like my main game plan to be winning with damage. And then we've got a little package here if we want it in the sideboard. And there will probably be times where we do. And yeah, I like going a little heavier red. As that means I'll never, I can get out the stuff that I want to cast. And we can save the broken concentration for later. Alright. So we will call this a deck. And see you guys for round one in just a minute.